So today we're going to be investigating some factors that affect enzyme activity. We're going to be using the enzyme amylase, which is found in our saliva and is part of our digestive process. Amylase is a catabolic enzyme that catalyzes the breakdown of starch into glucose. So starch is a polymeric substance made up of monomers of glucose. The starch fits into the active site of the amylase enzyme and the amylase then catalyzes its breakdown into its subunits. Amylase is also being used currently in laundry detergent to break down the starch in food stains. So we're going to be looking at some of the properties of laundry detergent um, that might affect how well the enzyme actually works. You might want to investigate the temperature that the detergent's used at, the acidity or the pH of the laundry detergent, the concentration of the enzyme actually in the detergent, or the concentration of the starch in the stain. To do that, we're going to monitor the breakdown of the starch by the amylase enzyme over time using the starch iodine indicator system. So the way that works is that iodine in the presence of starch actually turns a very dark blue or black color as I'll show on our spotting tile. When no starch is present, as would be the case when the amylase has broken it down into glucose, the color remains amber or brown. We're going to be using a spotting tile like this to check the concentration of starch present every 30 seconds. So to start off with, uh, we have our amylase enzyme, our pH 7 buffer, and our starch solution all measured out, and we're going to place them into a 40 degree water bath. We're going to leave them in that water bath for about five minutes so that they all come up to the same temperature, and then we'll get our reaction started. So now that they've had time to get up to temperature, we're going to mix the amylase and the buffer together. So we'll pour them in. And again, we're going to leave it for just one minute this time to let the, um, the enzyme get used to the pH. Uh, and once that's ready to go, we'll then add our starch to start the reaction. So now that it's had time to equilibrate, we're going to add our starch solution to the buffer and amylase to get our reaction started. Once we do that, we're going to take our first initial time measurement by taking a drop out of the reaction mixture and putting it onto our spot tile to react with the iodine. Then, every 30 seconds, we're going to do the same thing. Take a drop out of the reaction mixture, place it into the iodine well, and see if there's any starch present. It's also really important to put um, anything that's in the pipette back into the reaction after we've finished spotting so that the reaction can continue at the same temperature all the time. So let's get started. So we've reached the two minute mark and the reaction has moved to completion as we can see that the iodine is no longer darkening, um, therefore the amylase has broken down all of the starch that was in solution into glucose. Now it's your turn to design an experiment to test one of the conditions we spoke about before. So you might look at how temperature affects the activity of the enzyme, how pH affects the activity of the enzyme, how the concentration of the enzyme affects activity, or how the concentration of the starch might affect it. Good luck.